Today, I'm going to finally be having two eyeballs. Yeah, you heard that right. Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Jared Stodd here back with a brand new video. And today, I am finally getting my second eyeball. In the past, you guys have seen me wear all kinds of crazy eyeballs out in public. But I have not worn my realistic eyeball in so long. I think the last time I wore it was when I was younger, when I was afraid for anyone to find out that I had one eyeball. Well, today, we're going to be using one of my realistic eyeballs and wearing it for 20 four hours going out in public and seeing how I feel because every time I go out in public, I never wear an eyeball and I get so many people looking at me and staring at me. But I like that because being different is awesome. But today we're gonna go back to step one and wear my real eyeball for 24 hours and see how it feels for the first time in a couple years. So what we're gonna do is grab my real eyeball. This one, right? No. Oh, this is not my real eye? No. Oh, okay. Let's go with my newest realistic eyeball that I have and put this thing in. And this actually gives me vision so I can see. No, I'm just kidding, it doesn't. But this is the eyeball they're gonna be wearing for 24 hours. How real does this look? Pretty real. You literally can't even tell that I have a missing eyeball. And it honestly feels weird already because I never wear my realistic eyeball because I love being different and standing out from the crowd. But we're just gonna wear this eyeball and see how it makes me feel. So let's do it. Tori, do you notice anything different about me right now? <laughs> I'm wearing my realistic eyeball. Oh, it's been a while since you've worn that one. Yeah, today the plan is I'm gonna wear my realistic eyeball for 24 hours because you know how I always wear like no eyeball in public? And I have not worn my realistic eyeball in so long. So the plan is wear this thing for 24 hours and see if anybody reacts, which they won't react, but it's probably just gonna make me feel like comfortable because no one's gonna be staring at me, you know? True. Yeah, so let's go in public and see how I feel. It's so weird that I'm wearing this eyeball because fake eyeballs are made for people with one eyeball that wanna be seen with two eyeballs. So it makes them all seem like they have two eyeballs. And those are are all the eyeballs that I got for like my first 15, 20 years of living. And then all of a sudden I was like, you know what? We have to be different, stand out from the crowd and be ourselves. So I was like, let's just start getting all these custom eyeballs. So honestly, like I never really wear my realistic eyeballs at all. I don't even know why I have them because I just like being different and standing out from the crowd. But this thing looks insanely real. When I look in the mirror, I literally can't even tell which one is real and which one is fake. But Luke, did you know that I can actually see out of my fake eye when I put it in? You can? No, <laughs> I wish I could, but then it wouldn't be called a fake eye. It would just be called a real eye, I guess. But anyways, let's go in public and see people's reactions and see how I feel. So let's do it. All right, guys, I am in public and, and I have not got one reaction. I feel like I'm just an average person that fits in for once, but I do like being different. This is actually kind of cool because I feel like everyone thinks I just actually have two eyeballs, which is kind of cool. And like the first time I've went out in public in a long time when no one has given me like any reaction. So this feels really, really weird to me. I kind of like it, but I kind of don't like it because I like being different. Luke, what do you think? I think it's good. You do? You think it looks pretty realistic? Oh, yeah. There's been like no reactions at all, has uh -uh. there? It's crazy. All right, guys, we are back home and having two eyeballs is amazing. I can finally see again. No, I'm just kidding. But what we're gonna do is take out the realistic eyeball that I have in right now, the most realistic eye that I have. And we're gonna try out all of the realistic eyeballs that I have in my collection. This was the very first realistic eyeball that I got. Luke, how realistic does this eyeball look? Not very. <laughs> yeah, it's probably so far off. I got this eyeball when I was only two years old when I first lost my eyeball to cancer and I wore this eye for about four or five years. And then I moved on to a little bit bigger of an eyeball. This I hope that did not break. Yep, it did not break. But then I moved on to this eyeball right here when I was about five years old. And this one should fit a little bit more realistic, doesn't it or not? Oh yeah. Yeah, it fits a little bit better. It feels a little bit better too. And I wore this eyeball for about five years as well. And then when I was about 10 years old, I got this eyeball right here. There's a little tiny crack in this eyeball, but it's still good. But this is the eyeball that I wore for the longest period of time. I think I wore this eyeball for about eight or nine years. And this thing looks pretty dang realistic. It still looks pretty realistic today. And then after that, I moved on to this eye right here, the one that I have been wearing, and this thing looks so freaking realistic. You literally can't even tell that I have a fake eye. That's because I don't. Because in this video, I have two eyeballs, and I can see again. Since I have two eyeballs for the day, I'm gonna be recreating a video where people with one eye usually fail at doing these things because their depth perception is way off. So since I have two eyeballs, and I can see out of my eyeball today, Kind of. I'm gonna be trying these things that people with one eyeball usually fail at, and we're gonna be seeing if it actually works because I have two eyeballs for 24 hours. So the first one that we're gonna do is we're gonna be pouring a glass of milk, and usually people with one eye struggle with this. I did this in the past like five or six months ago on a YouTube video, and I did not get the glass right. So we're gonna be seeing today if I can get it right. We're gonna do three different chances and see if I can do it. Oh. I literally failed on the first try. So uh, let's try this one more time. Here we go, let's move it over here. Let's see if I can get this. Best two out of three, I can do this. 
Yes, let's go. I got chance number two. Now it is time to see if I can actually do this for the third time and see if this is actually gonna work better because I have two eyeballs. So here we go. I can do this. Let's go. It is better having two eyeballs. It's helping me so far. Now let's go on to the next challenge. For challenge number two, we have catching a ball. The last time I did this, I failed extremely. I couldn't even catch a ball like 10 feet away from me. So what we're gonna do is three rounds and see if I can catch this ball because I actually have two eyeballs for the day. So Luke, here you go. I'm gonna go long. Let's see if I can catch this. Oh, dang it. I did not complete the first one, but we have two more chances to see if I can come back with this because I have two eyes. So here's the second attempt. Let's do this. Oh, let's go. Touchdown, baby. We got it. We have one chance left to redeem ourselves here and show that having two eyeballs you can do more things with. So here we go. Chance number three. Let's do this. Oh, let's freaking go. I did it, baby. Having two eyeballs has proven to be better today. So let's go on to the next challenge. For the next challenge, we have going up and down stairs. But today, since I have two eyeballs, we're going to try sprinting up the staircase and seeing if it works. So with that being said, let's see if it's better because I have two eyes. Are you ready? I'm ready. Set, go. Let's freaking go. Okay, <laughs> um, well, I would say that's a success. I went all the way up and almost halfway down. So having two eyeballs has proven to be better once again. So now let's go on to the next challenge. For this next challenge, we have grabbing objects. Now this might seem a little bit crazy for those of you that have two eyeballs, but the one-eyed people out there know that grabbing objects can be pretty dang hard because your depth perception is off a bit. So since I have two eyeballs, let's see if I can grab these three objects on the very first try. So here we go. Yes, okay, I thought I was gonna grab the whole thing, but I only grabbed the end, but we still got it. So that is the very first one. Now let's go to the second one. Let's go, two for two, and then three for three, let's go. We did it, we got past another challenge because having two eyeballs, yet again, proves that it is better than having one. But honestly, I think having one eye is still better. Now the reason that I think having one eyeball is better is because my first 19 years of living, I always wore my prosthetic eyeball, trying to fit in and hiding my true self. And when I finally took out my eyeball, I finally became comfortable and happy within myself because I was not afraid of other people's judgment and I was actually happy being myself. And although people might stare at you for being different or having a flaw or a disability of some sort, as long as you're being yourself, that is all that matters because it does not matter what other people think. As long as you can be comfortable with yourself and accept yourself for who you truly are, that is all that matters because not many people in this world can actually stand out and be themselves. However, if you can, that is awesome because once you do that, you'll be the happiest person ever. And well, we just spent 24 hours having two eyeballs. And well, I honestly think I would rather have one eyeball, but that is all right. We wore the eyeball for 24 hours and I'll probably never wear my realistic eyeball again because I love having one eyeball. But with that being said, everyone drop a like on this video. Let's see if we can get this video 20,000 likes. That would be crazy. And I will see you tomorrow. Peace.